let me talk to your person all right i know this is the most favorite part of my viewers like they really enjoy when i talk to their person so if you're interested stick around otherwise scroll do whatever shit you want it's a collective reading take what resonantly what doesn't if it doesn't fit your situation don't try to fit you into this reading all right this is not how it works if you already knew what i'm talking about it fits into your situation that's your reading otherwise it's not don't feed your fucking delulu all right and all right i just want to give you a scam alert i have only one account in tiktok divine mother's guidance with 146k plus followers i have only one account in tiktok instagram divine mother's guidance with 4000 plus followers my only youtube channel let's ask tarot please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and my only email id is divine mother's guidance at gmail.com should be written on the screen or the description box depending on the, depending on where you are seeing me if anybody coming to tell you that they have different email id because that one is not working no access and shit like that immediately block them that's not me all right so giving me the warning because i have to do this shit because my scammer like followers are being scammed now listen let me see which let me see who is the person who wants to talk to you now focus on your person and let us see whether this person matches your situation or your person immediately that i'm picking up on is a person who is a page hot and cold page it might be a very typical avoiding person this person might be coming hot and cold okay regarding the commitment level page level two pages are sitting here and very defensive person nine of wand always blocked energy and also very blocked right now so this person might have blocked you or you might have blocked them so this is the energy that of the person so they might be very hot and cold very typical avoiding attachment style so they might be coming strong couple of days it will be honeymoon rosy rosy gulu gulu kind of a situation and after that sometimes something happens triggers off gone in the wind out of this like from the face of the fucking world they're gone so these are the energy of that person i'm picking up on all right and um, regarding the commitment so i think you will be like you know crying to get some commitment from this person like message me to contact me let us go for a date meet me all those shit like that it will be always like you they will be giving you uh, like that so this is the fucking page that you were dealing with all right and always defensive always ready to fight always ready to fight so this person is always standing with their like you know two wands in their hand come and i will fight very argumental somebody that like seriously this is what you are dealing with so if you want to say something it's like there cannot be any kind of healthy criticism if you try to say something that you didn't like immediately they will start fighting they might block you they will run away okay this is what the person you are dealing with if that sounds your person then you can move forward otherwise this is not your reading all right tell me how are you doing how are you feeling during this no contact situation how are you feeling during this no contact situation how are you feeling during this no contact situation mm chariot walk it on right um look this person is trying to move forward seriously i would say that this person is trying to avoid you this person is trying to avoid your thought they want to move forward in life they want to say oh i don't want to think about them i just want to move forward they are probably working 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 really hard to keep you uh, to distract themselves from your thoughts um, but you know what all those shit show is falling apart they are not they are juggling so much but this shit is not working it is falling apart inside this person really missing you very badly missing you and they are trying to avoid your thoughts they are trying to avoid that i won't think about them i don't want to give any energy to this person i will discard them from my life i will do my fucking life and i want to move forward with my life even though a part of them coming towards you a part of them just going this way they are just trying to move forward and just trying to distract themselves with many things it can be third parties it can be uh, you know their work it can be partying overnight like you know go with with friends whatever shit show they are trying to distract themselves but it is actually falling apart it is not working it is not working this person is not being able to balance all right so you are missing them okay so you want to say that you are trying to move forward but it's not working are you missing the person watching this video are you missing the person you are who is watching this video this person is a person who do things very impulsively okay they are saying that impulsively i just did the shit whatever whatever happened it was very impulsive i feel like i won this i i just um you know something whatever happened in the moment this person really feel that oh i am the winner i am right i i should i won the fight i won the thing you know that's kind of a, this is always winning attitude they feel like oh my gosh i was so right i just you know i'm the boss 
initially they felt very happy i won't lie i won't lie they felt like they just found like the peace in their heart oh i'm so good i'm fine i'm do i just after after they discarded you after the breakup they really really feel good i'm telling you i'm going to i'm not going to give you any bullshit here i'm just going to tell you what i'm seeing here all right but but now this person is going through shit show now they are mentally imprisoned they see this this is a winning energy oh i got jingle la la ho so i was so fine they were doing parties they were feeling my life is a bliss without this person that was a shit show this relationship didn't work out never going to work out i have done a right thing by leaving this person who it's a sun energy i feel so beautiful i feel so happy but after that here comes a shit show here comes a shit show now this person is feeling trapped in their own thought because i think after they left you they were doing a lot of fun things they might have like you know in like you know doing parties and things like that um there might be like you know going with third parties might be rebounds but now this person is feeling really trapped in their mind all right why you are feeling trapped in your mind you are doing jingle lala right oh mm okay after doing jingle lala this person is trapped in their mind i think now this person is confused they try different options it can be as i said it can be third parties it can be doing partying doing these and that 1110 on my counter so they are showing me 11 10 for a reason all right um that's 111 coming up over there so this person got very very you know feeling like um you know i was doing party i was doing things like that but now i'm feeling exhausted because whatever i was trying to cope with i tried to cope with a lot of things See now this person is exhausted trying not like, lying down here. They tried to cope initially they were suppressing their feeling. They were trying to cope with a lot of things to forget you. But that didn't work. They initially they was doing good but now they are seeing that you are okay. You are okay without them. You are okay without them like you are giving a zero flying fuck about it. Now this person is confused. There is no clarity in the situation. Initially 11 11 on my count on my clock for a reason. All right. So uh, if you're selling the angel number eleven eleven, this reading might be for you. Definitely as a confirmation. One 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 or eleven eleven. This person was very very happy after they discarded you. They didn't even feel think about you. They were doing a lot of things. They were like curious. Oh, they okay? But I'll be fine. I don't care. So they might be doing with the third parties, the fourth parties, and whatever fifth parties. I don't care. And after doing that. after some time you know when you be in this delusional world when there is a true love and you want to discard those people and you want to be in a false illusion of happiness after that illusion that facade doesn't last long after some time that breaks 707 on my counter they did show me for a reason all right after some time that facade that you create in your mind that oh, i'll be fine with that person that breaks people get exhausted you cannot hide from your emotions that is why they say the rebounds are not good it is for a reason because you after the breakup need to process that emotion you need to go through the pain you need to heal yourself from the pain if you try to suppress that emotion doing these and that doing this and that that doesn't work that doesn't work because that pain that you are suppressing right now will refer surface that will refer surface and that's the point when you will be feeling devastated and that's the what happening to this person i think they try to suppress the feeling they suppress try to suppress your thoughts and doing all those third parties fourth parties but now this person is realizing whatever they did is no more working and now you came out the other side of the tunnel you are living your life you did invest the time in your healing you did cry you did go through that emotion you went to the roller coaster you did work on yourself and now you are healing and that's why this person can see that you are doing good you don't care <laughs> shit happens all right so they want to say something more all right okay now you know shit happens they want to say something okay hmm <laughs> You know what? Now I'm really freaking out. I'm anxious. I'm worried. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I want a new beginning with this person, and I hope that that comes back to me, because that was so beautiful. I thought it was shit show. I thought it was a shit show, and I after the breakup I felt it was so good. That shit show. That person. I don't need that person. That person always created problem in my life. They were these and they were that. But now I'm feeling like oh my goodness, I lost something from my life. that happiness that that feeling of the place or whatever the happy things they had with you because somehow you made them feel really really happy you did show them a future which never they envisioned with anybody else and now that is gone 
and now they want a new beginning with you going through a lot of anxiety right now <laughs> all right so what do you want to do about it what do you want to do about it what do you want to do about it three of wands justice the moon all right i go on to get out of this anxiety i really don't want to be i want to make a decision about it um i want to bring justice to the situation i know this is not right this is a bad karma this is not good whatever is happening right now i think it's my bad karma that i walked away from this connection uh, i need to bring the justice back to the situation but i don't know how i'm very anxious right now i'm very very worried right now because i'm not feeling like this person is going to come back to my life anymore i didn't do justice to them so are you going to say stay there and do nothing are you going to stay there and do nothing nine of cups oh tower this person is my wish fulfillment i have never seen any person like me in my fucking life they click all the boxes they are the like the manifestation of all my wishes that i ever wanted in a partner this is the ideal partner i have ever seen but i lied to them i did hide things from them and i did put my beautiful heaven on fire so i don't know I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Very nice. You don't know what to do. So you will not do anything, right? You want to say? You don't want to do anything about it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. They are the love of my life. I know we will be together. I will be there. Will be a new beginning. But I know to bring this new beginning. it needs to be a equal given take six of pentacles in reverse but i was not ready for that i was not for ready for that and i don't know whether i'm still ready for this because the way this person always showed up in my life they always gave me see this i cannot show you this lovers card because this naked pictures here but it is the woman is giving the feminine is giving and the masculine is taking so it's like more like this person were giving to me and i have been taking from them listen my feminines if you are resonating with yourself as divine feminine listen up this is a lesson to be learned in your divine journey if you are in a divine mission or if you are in a twin flame journey or if you know that this is your divine counterpart divine feminine is not supposed to do for their divine masculine more you do like initiate contact do things go forward all the time do your organize your dates do thing for your man or your masculine you are actually putting this masculine energy into the feminine energy and they never act trust me i i'm talking about from my experience when you put too much of work and you just do too much things in the relationship you actually ruin the relationship that's not not supposed to be the masculine should be leading this relationship they should be initiating everything if they don't do it you they are not in a masculine energy and this relationship will never survive so if you are watching this video and if you do the same mistake like you probably do a lot for your masculine don't do it don't do it and if this person meant to be in your life they will be in your life or they are not meant to be in life they will be taken away from your life you think that if i do too much for them you know i see i i know from my personal experience i i will be doing for my masculine a lot because what i will be thinking to make their life easy because i love them let me take some you know burden out of their life let me do spot something for them because they are struggling with doing things all maybe i'll do this something they will be it will be helpful for them they will feel better they will be less anxiety but you know what that's a complete shit show this kind of feminine the main or the masculine don't like at the end of the day they, they will they will be treating you like you know not even a woman seriously because they like to, those women who can't do anything or they don't to just like feminine i want to say women or man they love this feminine they won't do anything for them okay they will treat them like a piece of shit they will go behind them they will accept them they will love them but you and me who will be doing also learn this with experience stop doing anything or everything for your masculine because if you do this they will never gonna love you okay i have to take this reading to my youtube channel so follow my youtube channel let's ask tarot that's my youtube channel the full video because there's more to talk about with your masculine i uh, like whatever the partner masculine or feminine we will take the video the full video in in my youtube channel let's ask tarot so make sure that you follow me over there all right so yes what i was saying this continue not here 
to the next part we will talk about it all right so you must be watching this part in my youtube channel which is let's us tarot all right listen what i was saying many times we do this as a feminine energy but at the end of the day the masculines hate us they see you as a us as a competitor and because you know they are not used to get this kind of thing they will see that everything that you are doing behind that there is an intention but your intention is to cushion their life to give them some cushion to make it easy for them but they don't take it that way they will see that this person must be very fake why they're doing so much for me why they're doing this to me there might be some some hidden agenda behind this they want to show that they are special they want to show that they want to do you don't want to show anything but they will always think that you are trying to show something to them and they will be always taking you as a masculine and they, you will be a competitor to them okay they will be always comparing you with them you are a competitor in their life but you know what all those things that comes from your heart you do for them makes no sense to them so don't do it anything for a man or a masculine don't do anything okay you should be always in the receiving end you know stop initiating those contacts if they don't message you let them go months years whatever shit let them go because if they can go without talking to you it means you mean nothing to see their life so do you want to go and beg and brag to somebody who in whose life you mean nothing think about it just think about it so if they are, you consider yourself divine feminine and they consider as a masculine they should act like a masculine otherwise two feminines doesn't matter if it is the same sex relationship or different sex relationship there needs to be a polarity in this connection so if they consider them like you consider as a feminine let them take the role of the masculine and if being the masculine they don't message you and they don't want to come forward that's their fucking problem let them let them let them go let them seriously go if you mean nothing to their life if you, if they can live their fucking love without life without you let them live let them live okay you will be fine trust me you will be fine you will cry a lot you will be going to a lot of shit show but this is a person who is trying to tell you that you need to come back and begging to me again and again no you should not you should not it's not about ego it's not about pride it is about self respect a feminine should not be running behind a masculine but again listen there is a thing if you are the divine feminine if you kicked out that person and you did something nasty no this rule doesn't apply to you whoever made the mistake they should go forward even if you are feminine or masculine but in in many cases i seen that most of the people who come to me for collect private training i see that the divine feminine always doing initiating things for the divine masculine that's not right so if this i'm specifically telling you if your divine masculine did wrong to you they discarded you they left you ghosted you and they wanting you to come go back to them and beg them that because that is what you do all the time don't do it don't do it all right let's see what else this person has to say so you know that you need to bring balance to the situation you are not going all right so i want to ask this person so you know that you need to do the right thing so you are not ready for that this person came up as a four of cups sorry five of cups the king of wands and the queen of swords so this person is trying to tell me i have no other option rather than be in action mode because my queen is now in a queen of swords energy they are not going to take me back until unless i be the king of wands like action king the passionate the action driven person so i need to be in the queen of wands energy otherwise this person is not going to take me back and i am disappointed i'm missing them badly i'm missing them badly and i know they're missing me too i know they are missing me too but now they are protecting their heart so i definitely need to go and walk to take the action to make it work so are you going to take the action are you going to take the action yeah i will try i yes i will try again even though i've like i messed it up i will try again to come climb back i will bring the reconciliation i will bring the reconciliation because i know i can only do this because this is my life she she or he like whoever it is they are my like you know they are seeing you as a married partner they are my happy heaven so they are you might be married to this person that can be a sign or can be that you have like you guys are talking about marriage or some kind of marriage situation happened so this can be a sign that this person is thinking or maybe you had a marriage plan which cancelled this is this can be a specific sign for people who were like you know um planning of marriage or something like that so this person is definitely telling me that i will definitely come back i will try to bring them back and i will work on this 
Okay. What else do you want to say? Confusion. All right. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I need to walk away from this confusion. I'm still confused. I'm still trying to make the decision, but I know I cannot stay here forever in this energy because otherwise I will lose them. Because without them, my world is completely broken. So I need to bring them back. They are my wish fulfillment. So I cannot be happy without them. I will do something. I will try again to bring them back. I need to walk away from this place of confusion. All right. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I have to work hard. I have to work hard to do that because also another thing this person is saying they have a lot of responsibilities at this moment. There's a lot of things going on in their life, okay? It can be some other people involved. It can be their job. It can be something like that. But this person is going through a lot right now. A lot of burden on them. And it's not easy for them. And you know what? This person is telling me one thing. I'm very used to take from this person. I'm very used that this person will always come forward. I am always used that this person will make my life easy. I don't know how to give. This is another thing to, for me to learn. I always know that whatever happens, this person will be always beside me. I was very greedy in this connection. I've been taking from this person. But now I need to learn that from the scratch. Because everything that was there, I ruined it. I ruined it. So I need to learn from the scratch how to go forward and how I can be communicating with this person. How I can give them whatever they wanted. Otherwise, if I go forward, it's not going to happen. All right. So before I let you go, would you like to say something else to my viewer? What do you want to say that? Okay. Okay. You might not be knowing. You might not be thinking that I am missing you. But I am missing you badly. You actually, this person knows it very well. And this person, it's saying that I can read their mind. This person can be a very uh, intuition, like they have may, may have very high intuition. They probably can sense your energy, okay? Um, this person is coming as a water sign and like a, it's like I would say, some kind of water body can be significant. Seagulls can be significant for you. If you have been seeing them, uh, white birds, if not. So listen, what this person is saying. I know. They are thinking that I am doing my life. I'm doing enjoying my life. I don't care. I give a damn about them. But deep inside, I'm so emotional. I am missing them. I miss them badly. And I really want a new beginning in this connection. And I know they are waiting for me. I am coming, but I'm a little bit slow with this kind of things. I'm not as fast as them. They might be thinking very fast, but I, it takes me a long time to process my emotion and think about it and then come forward. For me, it is not easy. They are, for them it is very easy they, they do, do it all the time but I am not used to this so I need to learn that but I definitely want to move to a better situation with them because this is not helping me alright what else yeah <laughs> because I am very very sad I am very sad I am feeling like I am left out in cold I am feeling like I can't even express to somebody but I am feeling very sad I feel like the God or the divine is angry with me right now somehow I am feeling like that the divine connection that I felt with this connect person, this okay, another thing, this person did show me a path, a different path to be a different version of me. I was a different person, different before I met this person. They made me feel my worth, my connection to my God. My they they actually sh did show me how to be in touch with my intuition, to the God, to the divine, to believe in higher power. Now I'm feeling like my God, my divine is angry with me because I did let this person go and I did unfair to this person. So I'm so sad. I'm so depressed, but I cannot tell anybody. I cannot show it to anybody. This can be a kind of a relationship which is not accepted by the society. This can be a relationship where you might be having some social cultural differences, marriage, children, age, caste and things like that. So this can be a sign for you, but this person is really hurting. Anyways, what else? Keep going. All right. right now this person might be tied down with some kind of karmic relationship all right um, they might have also some addiction issues also can be a lot of negative thought process and negative sides um, they are stuck in some kind of karmic cycle this person is saying that 
everything I manifested in my life is not working right now. Some kind of karmic cycle they are facing. Something is going wrong. Um, I think this person is understanding. They are very greedy. They are not showing the care and love that you needed. And now this person definitely going through a lot of karmic lessons. And they want to tell you that I am not happy. But I need to, I am stuck in the karmic situation right now. I'm battling my own battle. They're going through a lot of shit show. A lot of shit show. Okay. And they also, they're feeling like you intuitively read their energy. And um, definitely you might have some kind of soul connection with this person. Very higher level spiritual connection. Okay. I would say. Um, but this person is going through a lot of anxiety, a lot of shit show. Um, they're, they're battling a lot of battles. They might be going some, through some legal battles, some kind of legal things, some kind of battle with some authorities. It can be with, um, you know, government officials, something like that. Hmm. Kind of like that. And that is actually putting them into a state of like real stress, real stress. And uh, they're definitely praying that things works out for them. All right. They might be watching your social media. Okay. They want to bring the balance to the situation. Definitely. I think, listen. Yeah, I think, I think that's all. I think that's all. I think this person is telling me that um, I was very hot and cold in this connection before. I know I could not, I was like, you know, very proud. Very, now I'm feeling much humble because I know that the worth of this connection and this person's value in my life. Um, I'm trying to balance my emotions, but I'm still stuck in some karmic lessons, but I will come forward. I'll come off forward with an apology or come forward with the offer of love, but it is going to take me some time. Um, so yeah, this is what this person is saying. So if whatever I said resonates with you, that's your reading. If not, it's not. Don't try to fit yourself in this reading, but one thing for sure, again, I'm going to tell you, if somebody discards you and if they leave you for whatever xyz reason you should honor their decision that they wanted to leave you you should honor that they don't want to be with you please go don't, don't go and beg, beg and brag because if somebody said i don't want to be with you so let them go okay let them decide what they want to do if they you need to move on with your life you need to love yourself enough to walk away from someone who says i don't want you in my life and if you can't do that Seriously, go and see a therapist. Important. All right? Don't do that. It's, it's not self-love. It's not self-respect. And also, you are not respond, respecting that person's boundary who doesn't want you anymore in their life. So, be respectful to yourself and be respectful to others. Okay? Take care.